Tulsa County investigators launched a new search for clues in the disappearance of a mother and son and the murder of their friend, Jack Grimes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chin Doan. News on 6's Ashland Brothers joins us with what investigators have learned on day one of a two day search at Grimes' home in Turley. Ashlyn. Chin, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, with the help of OHP, searched a pond on Jack Grimes' property. Investigators say they didn't find anything significant, but tell us they'll be back tomorrow and won't stop searching until the case is closed. I've never seen a case quite this unusual. The search for answers in a difficult case involving one confirmed death and a missing mother and son continues. We're still actively doing search warrants. We're waiting for results uh, for forensic evidence to come back from OSBI. So no, this is not a cold case. And we're out here doing these searches because we don't want it to become one. Investigators say the smallest detail could lead to the discovery of who murdered 76 year old Jack Grimes, whose remains were identified on November 1st of 2021 after being being found in Turley less than a mile from his house and figuring out what happened to Grimes roommate Dwayne Selby and Selby's mother Glenda Cookie Parton. You know a lot of time has gone by and absolutely no one has heard from Dwayne and Cookie so to say that we're worried about their well-being is a uh, it is an underestimate. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office and the OHP's underwater search and recovery team spent hours looking for evidence in a small muddy pond at Grimes home. So you need to make sure that the people that find it and collect it are well, well versed in uh, preserving that evidence so we can make sure that it is uh, able to be used in court later. Cadaver dogs with Oklahoma's Task Force One will spend day two extensively searching Grimes property. Investigators say Grimes was last seen October 22nd with Selby as they were supposed to be heading to a Texas horse show. Roebuck says Parton's car was found abandoned on Highway 75 and Grimes sedan was found at Mohawk Park a couple miles from his house. We have two families here that are hurting. They want answers. They want to know where their loved ones are. They want to know what happened to Jack and, and who did this to him. And I think that this has gone on long enough. And Roebuck says that they haven't removed any names from their suspect list and believes there could be many folks with information on this case who haven't come forward. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.